All right, so on to Michigan. This is usually the part where I show you the point standings, but they really haven't changed whatsoever. We're still 43rd, and it's pretty much the same top 10. Uh, not much has really changed here. We're, you've been saving a good bit of money. Uh, a look at uh, what we've got here in the shop. So nothing's really changed with the chassis. Uh, five races left for our new engine. Two races left for the overhaul on the bodies. Uh, this one finally finished up. It only took two races. Uh, luckily, we uh, yeah we just repaired it in two races. So that's back up to 100. Uh, so we're probably going to take that one to Michigan since it's a good bit better than our second one now at this point. Other than that, it's really about it. Uh, again, we've got uh, 98000 in the bank. So after this, we ought to have enough money to probably get another shop edition. I don't know if we're going to do that or not. We'll, we'll, we'll browse and see what we can get, uh, see what makes sense uh, to get. But, uh, yeah, other than that, it's really about it. So let's go ahead and hop into it. All righty. Here we go. I don't know what this thing's got. Man, another race, another track that I really wish I had that extra engine power on oh, that new engine but not quite yet but it'll be here soon again it's just crazy how long this process is of upgrading and just waiting for th for things to be built but uh, it takes a lot of money but uh, after a while man hopefully we start knocking out better finishes start you know earning a little bit more money and um, you know it all just kind of snowballs from there but I would imagine we'll probably be 43rd here. I don't think we've got a lot of speed in the car. Again, this is a uh, fresh body, but it's not really doing much for us, so, other than a little bit of downforce. Uh, 40 flat, uh, that's about two seconds off. So. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell how much we can really get away with. Pretty close to wide open through one and two, it seems. Three and four has been really tricky. It's like sometimes I can get through the same as one and two, sometimes I gotta like, like break to get through there, so I don't know. Seems to be pretty line sensitive, but trying a little bit higher line. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it just kind of does that. So okay, well that's okay. <laughs> Beat it up pretty good, but let's see what time we get here. Yeah, we'll to make the race interesting, don't you? yeah. forty second. I didn't call for <laughs> yes. All right, 40.3. Sweet. I bounced off the wall, too. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not last. MRN is coming to you live from Michigan International Speedway for today's Sirius 400. Michigan always produces some great racing. What do you think, Barney? Michigan is wide with plenty of banking in the turns. You can get three wide pretty easily here. That always makes for some exciting race action. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing Team. That it was. With three wins and ten top ten finishes, he showed that he's one of the rising stars in NASCAR. Ricky Rudd is sporting a new ride for the 2003 season. Yeah, he has moved over to the Wood Brothers. Now this is a team loaded with NASCAR experience. Rudd is in his 26th year as a driver, and the Wood Brothers have been fielding cars since NASCAR started. The 83 car is having some trouble in the points this year. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Looks like a bounce back week for Jeff Gordon and Ryan Newman starting outside front row. So, uh, yeah. Oh, Michael Waltrip, Rusty Wallace. Okay. Let's get it. Kenny Wallace starting up there, too. Oh, hey, look. Kenny Schrader. All righty. Well, hey, I out qualify Cal Petty. That's incredible. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that's bad if you get out qualified by me and I hit the wall on the same lap. Oh, man. All right, we'll see what this thing has once we get up to speed. Again, the acceleration isn't great, as you can see. But, uh, okay. Yeah, 50 laps, uh, much like Pocono. All right. And we're last. At least we didn't start here. Yes, we've already got one blown up. 
Matt Kinson, how you doing? Sweet. All right. Forty second. Yeah, that's what we need. Maybe everybody's just gonna start blowing up now. Ever since all those problems at Pocono we had. But uh, yeah, I'll take it. There you go. That's what we need. And again, I feel like this is another week where we're we're pretty good. And I, well, we're not we're not good at all. Uh, this is another week where it's pretty wide open track, pretty big track. Like I feel like we can squeak away with another you know quality finish. Keep, you know, keep the car pretty good. So looks like it's gonna be another battle with Mike Skinner here towards the back of the pack. That's. <laughs> I love how he's been the slowest car other than me. Just about every single week now. That's crazy. And he still has three wins. That's the even crazier part. I mean, if I were to crash out right now, he'd get his fourth, I guess. Just kind of dumb. It definitely looks like I'm getting through turn one's... Turn... <laughs> turns... Turns one... Turns one... And, well, jeez. It definitely looks like I'm getting through turn one and two a little bit better than Mike Skinner. Three and four, I'm still trying to figure it out. I think I'm faster than him. I think. I might be able to drive up to 41st. I don't know. Give me give me another couple laps, I'll tell you. i tell you this, though. It definitely seems like we're really close to even. We've been right there at about a second apart. Oh, yeah. I got a really close battle here for 40 second. Big, big time battle right here. All right, well, yeah, I don't think I'm quite as fast as Mike Skinner. It, I was keeping even with him until the tires started to fall away, and now it's just like, I don't know, it's just kind of like pushy and chubby. I don't know, that's, that's, again, that's another problem we have is tire grip and tire wear. You're halfway on fuel. So, yeah, okay, halfway on fuel here. So this is, yeah, the strategy is exactly like, uh, exactly like Pocono. So what we're gonna do uh, we'll probably come in here. Honestly, I could probably pit right now. But I'm going to wait another couple laps, and I'm probably going to short pit. So, basically what it is, is the fuel run is 20, right? So, it's 50 laps, so you got to go 20, 20, and 10. So, instead of three full-length, you know, stents, you cut one of those in half. So, honestly, again, we could pit right now and be fine. But I want to go another lap or two just to be safe. Cause it seems like our, you know, we don't burn fuel quite, or we burn fuel worse compared to everybody else, it seems, so. But I'm going to go ahead, eh, I'm going to pit this time. To hell with it. Strategy! Alright. I'd like to beat Mike Skinner. That would be, that would be pretty cool. Alright. Strategy, all four tires. Um, let's try some more strategy. Right sides. Uh, we don't even have any damage, but sure. Full tank, yeah. Strategy. This might be a dumb call taking right sides, but I'm gonna fill this thing up and oh, hey dummy. There you go. You got it. Well, that didn't help. There you go. Go 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 go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. All right, that wasn't too bad, but it could have been better. You got some traffic, easy on the merge. Okay, so we're gonna come out, uh, boom, right here. Mike Skinner. All right. Oh, I should have just pulled way up in front of him, so either he hit me or I had to slow down. All right, so, yeah, that was probably, that really didn't help with the Jackman falling. It seemed like we lost more time than what we should have there. So that's gonna hurt. I probably should have just took four tires at that point, but um, yeah, the tires weren't really worn other than the right front. Okay, now the left front's worn. So now the only problem is we're gonna have to nurse that left front all the way to our next pit stop, and that's gonna be 20 laps from now, about. So, um, but at least yeah, fresh tires. I think we should be able to be faster than Mike Skinner now, and um, this might work out. It might. Here we go, we've oh, pretty much caught him. Yeah, here we go. Share some draft down the front. There you go. Suck up real good right here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and try to make this pass. Number four is outside. There you go, a little bit of a slide job. All right, see if we can run away with it. 
Or no, or we could just cross me over, that's cool. Oh, easy. Sorry. Okay, now my skinner doesn't like me. Well, it was good there for a second, I just didn't want to yank the car to the right side. Trying to get off him. Ah, damn it. Okay, there we go. Thank you for not crossing me over again. I was faster, but uh, whatever. Oh, fucking damn it. See, it just does that sometimes, where it just, like, won't turn. Ah, uh, now there comes all that progress I just gained on Mike Skinner back. Yeah, let's hit it one more time while I'm at it. Some of a bitch. Three and four is stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, I hate that. The four car is inside. You're not faster than me, Mike. I just proved why you're not. Number four is still there. Ah. Uh, These guys should be pitting any lap. Oh, they, are, they already are. They got guys on pit road, so. Halfway on fuel. There you go, yeah, I'm halfway on fuel. So, oh shit. So we're gonna be taking this to about lap 30. Yeah, all right, yeah, go get some pits. I wanna get this spot on Mike Skinner. Come on, suck me in front of him. There you go, they got the spot. I just want one spot, man, just one spot. On my own. I should have had you at Charlotte, but that was just stupid. Alright, so we should uh, get one lap back here. I'd like to think we're probably going to get a second one back. We really only should have gone one down, so. There you go. Mike's getting some pits, so we're. We'll see where we cycle in comparison. Um, yeah, I don't think it's. Um, don't think it's quite gonna work out the way I wanted it to, unfortunately. I don't know, it still could. We are off strategy, but all right, the left front just hit red, so. Uh, yeah, we've got another six laps until we pit for the most part, so. I think we'll be okay, hopefully. Hey, if we build the left front, we should get a caution for it. Oh boy, we about blew our engine. Okay, okay, 10-4, everybody. All right, that didn't help. I ended her life right there. God, I hate lead lap cars. Hey, at least we're back one lap down. Oh, hey, 38th. What? Well, there you go. Okay, so it sort of kind of did work. Woo, strategy. That's going to be the title of this video, regardless of what happens. Just woo, strategy. I love when stuff sort of kind of works. Now we're drifting. Oh, boy. All right, so the good thing about this is I'm probably still going to lose some more spots here, but we got to take four tires next time by, but I could probably get away with taking two tires again on the last stop. Oh, wait, is this going to be... Uh... Yeah, oh, yeah, never mind. This is going to be our last stop, so... Okay, never mind. I forget what I said. These are probably gonna be some spots right here. I wouldn't be surprised. Somewhere in here. Oh, please don't wreck me. Please don't wreck me. Please don't wreck me. There's a fucking cluster right here. I don't like it. Get off of my car. Like, I'm sorry, but what the fuck? Once you get on my right rear, I just like I can't get off of you. Number ten is outside. Oops. Damage. Dicked him up face. again. All right, Ten's we lost spot to Brett Bodine. You're clear. Okay, back to 39th. Number 32. Number five. At least we're out a good bit ahead of Mike Skinner, I believe. All I believe. Clear, All right, here's the next spot. Elliot Sadler. Elliot Sadler Jr. Is Sorry about that. I, the, the car is fucking tight, dude. The car is tight. And these tires are bad. I'm sorry. Alright, so we're one lap down already. We're going to be two down. We're definitely going to go two down. So I'm thinking I could probably pit here. I'm going to try to stretch as long as possible. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, I'm fitting this time. I'm, I'm fitting this time. Four tires, fuel, and a fresh pair of undies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, big, big time pits right here. Big time pits. Alright, didn't lose any spots there. Alright, so this sort of kind of worked out. Sort of, kind of. Okay, don't speed, don't speed, don't speed. Got it down to 70. Alright. It's not bad. I think this is actually playing out really good for us. Four tires. Um, fuck the damage. Alright. So, yeah, I think we played this actually really, really good. Now we just gotta capitalize and have a really strong final run here. And we should be fast enough to at least finish ahead of Mike Skinner. I think. Come on, boys. You've had some good pit stops before. I really need it right here. Good stuff. I think we did it. Hell yeah. A little past 18 seconds, but that's okay. Alright, let's get it. And we are out of here. Alright, so back to 42nd. Oh, I really shouldn't have pulled way out on track like that. But uh, we should cycle after a while. Uh, these guys should be about half a tank now, so... Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Just gotta not crash, not lose too many, too much time. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Oops. Alright, yeah, y'all go ahead. Fuck, oh, shit. Ugh. Yeah, we're, we're, um... I mean, these guys aren't too terribly much more fast than I am. There's that. Um, yeah, we just, man, we just gotta let this cycle. Now watch, this This would be the one time where we don't need a caution, but we get one. Just to dick up our strategy. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, Sp Sprague. That's gonna put us up in a 41st at least. He's now out of the race and set on the leaderboard, so... Hell yeah! As long as we don't wreck him before we pass him, we're gonna lock up a, at least a 41st. And that's... that's... yeah, we need everybody to drop out of the, ra out of the race, so... If this strategy works, it'll look even better and better. There you go, 41st! That's for Jack Sprague. Alright, we should be seeing pit stops here very, very soon. We're about to a half a tank, and we're about, well, we should be, yeah, 10 to go. So, I think we're going to cycle out to be about one or two laps down. So, it's going to be pretty close on field, because I was banking on being at least a lap or two down. So, um, yeah, but we've, I mean, we've been pretty strong on this run. We haven't given up too much time. I feel like we put together some pretty good laps. Uh, we'll just see how everything cycles out. Uh, some of the guys in front, I think Stan Barrett's next car in front of us. Uh, I'll check the leaderboard again, but uh, I think he was only a lap a lap ahead, so we should cycle in front of him, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, there you go. We're on the same lap now. And that goes for Montgomery, too. Anybody who's within, like, a lap or so of us, I would, I would assume we should cycle in front, but I'm not sure about that. Alrighty, yep, here we go. Pit stops are happening. Right here, uh, less than 10 to go. So, how many laps down am I? Showing me four. I don't know why that is. I should only be three. Uh, but I should cycle down about two down, I would imagine. Once everything kind of finishes cycling, so. Um, yeah, we're almost, we're almost done with this thing, and uh, we should be good to make it on fuel, so. I hope so. Well, I hope this works out. We haven't cycled up any spots yet. Um, Stan Barrett still showing showing the lap ahead of us. Yeah, I'm not sure why it says we're four down. Like I noticed that all of a sudden we went from three down to four down. We never got past. The leader was still on the opposite end of the track. So. Uh, Go. Big cluster on pit road right here. Come on, give me a spot or two. Five, buddy. Five to go. Okay, never mind then. Maybe Couple next time. Alright, so the leader is in. This should be just about the last everybody. Oh, white flag, okay. So, pitting on the white flag, that's interesting. We can't lead laps with no fuel. 
I mean, I'm good to go. Um, okay, well now I'm a little bit more confused. Alright, yeah, we'll see if we cycle anywhere. Well, this is going to be a little bit disappointing because it doesn't seem like we're going to pick up any spots now. Yeah, what the hell? That's Stan Barry right behind me. Oh, what the hell? Um... Uh, okay. Maybe they took short fuel or something? I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's unfortunate. So... Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little dumbfounded. I don't know what the fuck happened, but... There's still a shit ton of people on pit road, so... I don't know, I don't know man. I'm just happy to finish another race. Back it up. Another way right for us today. There'll be other races. How, so how the hell? Where did Mike Skinner finish? What an exciting finish. <laughs> wow, what? Neil, you're right. That was an incredible... <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit confused. I gotta, I gotta look at this here. So... Uh, damn. 45,000 for 41st. Damn near 60k. Hello. All right. So our bank, bank's looking good. <laughs> Better, best has looked in a while. But uh, let's let's take a look here. So Ryan Newman won. Ricky Rudd second. All right. So so I short pit right, and I got all the way up into 38th, which should have been ahead of Mike Skinner. I I was ahead of him. I never saw him out uh, again. But not only did we finish 41st, like half of the cars are still on pit road when we cross the line. Unless what happened was they took it all the way to like the last lap and everybody pit and I was still pinned like four laps down and never nothing ever really cycled. But that, that didn't really make any sense. Yeah. This doesn't... Mike Skinner, yeah. Should not have finished two laps ahead of me. That just doesn't make any sense. Because I was ahead of him for most of that race. Until my last pit stop. When I should have cycled in front of most of these guys. But something just never cycled. So I don't know what these guys did. But congrats. Better call than what I made apparently. Oh man. We're going to road course racing next. Rip. Take a look at the garage. All right, so everything's looking pretty good there. Uh, four and one more race until we get that. Uh, so our overhaul engine will be back in one race, and then another four races till we get our new one. Uh, and nothing really going on with the bodywork here. So um, what I really want to look at is the shop additions. I actually got a lot more than I thought we would. Uh, we're up to 140,000 now, so um, we can buy something. So, oh god, okay, we can't buy that chassis tire grip. We could buy this chassis tire wear plus 10. I don't know if that's really worth it. We can't buy that for engines, engine efficiency plus 10. We can buy that. Oh, jeez, <laughs> that's right. I was looking through some of these. So for five hundred thousand, we've never seen five hundred thousand. We've we've the most we ever saw what was like our beginning check from Daytona. What was that like two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand? Not even that. Eighteen races. That's half of the season. One point five million for six races. Yeah. So what does the bodies uh, have to offer? This this I'd be interested in downforce. Absolutely. Um, so that's one hundred fifty thousand in nine races. We could save that. And work on that uh, drafting, and that's 150,000. So I think, yeah, I think that's probably the way to go. Uh, not only do we get uh, more downforce there, but we can, uh, you know, we get more storage space plus two there, so we can uh, develop more of those. So yeah, I think uh, I think that's the way to go. Also, I should actually now just thinking about this. Better yet, how about let's build a new... Oh, no, we can't do that. Shit. Fucking Spoto, you can't build another one while you're building the third one? Alrighty, well, yeah, I guess we'll we'll save save up a little bit more and we'll get that uh, we'll get that body shop edition. But, uh... Oof. 
we're going on to Sonoma next week. I don't know how I feel about that, but you know, hopefully, hopefully we can do good things. But breaking and turning that that scares me. That scares me a lot. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, make sure you come back. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty damn interesting. But uh, hey, appreciate you watching as always. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a little bit confusing there at the end. I still don't know what the hell happened or why we didn't cycle, but it is what it is. But uh, but yeah, that'll do it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Rip.